Doctor Who. The Space Pirates, Episode 2. From the Lost in Time DVD, V Ship Flight Deck, Her- Hermec. Pen, give me a bearing on that pirate ship. Pen, I can't pick her up, sir. Hermec, what? Pen, the debris on the bacon's jammed the signals. Hermec, oh, Pen, you are in com- competent, useless. Wayne, keep trying, Pen. Pen, yes, sir. Wayne joins Hermec. At the coffee machine at side of the bridge section. <coughs> Hermec, ah, uh, oh, coffee? Wayne, oh, Wayne, yes, please, sir, thank you. Hermec, all right, I know. The men are doing their best, Wayne, general. Hermec, isn't that what you are going to say? Isn't that what you were going to say? Wayne, something like that. Yeah, Hermec. You see, they're moving out of range already, Wayne. If only we could have sustained continual main boost. It might have been a different story. It might, they must have a base somewhere in this system. In more than 50 days out from the, for, from home planet. Hermit, quite. They can have, they can have main boosts the whole time. Our only chance is getting close. Enough to launch the minnows. Wayne, ah, or locate their base. They must be have dispatched pieces of the beacon to it. We could just locate one of the pieces. Hermit can't be done. It was, it, if the auxiliary rocket's cut out, we're nowhere to track, nowhere to tr- tr- track on. You see, there's nothing left now. Wayne, we got the tactical, tactical scanner, sir. Hermit. It'll be like nothing. Literally like looking for a single speck of dust at the bottom of a Lenonite mine. Wayne, do you think there's any chance they're still alive out there? Hermit, you mean Solomon's men? Wayne, yeah. Wayne, yeah, Hermac, I doubt it. I doubt if anyone's alive on that beacon now. The sections of the beacon float along the information. Three figures lie unconscious in the rearmost one. Wayne? Pen, Major Wayne? Wayne, what is it? What is it, Pen? Pen, rocket sh- ship, sir. Wayne, are you sure? Pen, no doubt of it, sir. She's right in the area where the beacon, Alpha 4, went up. Wayne, right. Can I get it on a TS? Pen, we would be, we, we should be able to, sir. Bearing starboard, nineteen from SDC. Wayne, nineteen D S D C. Hermec, what is it, Ian? Wayne, something's on the radar, sir. Hermec, the pirates. Wayne, well, if it is, there's something wrong with this ship. She's hardly moving. Hermec, they didn't, but they don't even know we're in the same area. Wayne, oh, I don't know, sir. They must be aware that there's a V ship in the system. They ran into a pocket, a picket on Alpha 4, which is why somehow I don't think this could be their ship. Hermit, but according to the flight information, there must, there should be nothing in the solar system for the, 80, the next 80 hours. Wayne gets an image on the rear monitor. Wayne, there she is, sir. And it isn't a ship we saw before. Hermit, no, it isn't. Can you get a closer shot? Wayne, there's, that's the one of the old C-class freighters, sir. I don't know, didn't know they were still flying. News 79, this ship is homely, and the jacket slug, the jacket slung over the back of the captain's chair, hot, boiled, hot, hard boiled bell rings, and uh, an egg drops out of the dispenser chute. A space cowboy, in a checkered shirt and neckerchief, enter singing somewhere over the rainbow. He puts an egg in the egg cup, 
sits in his chair with, all, with a full breakfast tray on his lap. Smoke comes out of the toaster. He throws away the charcoal offerings. Marlow, last of me nutty sliced bed, rubbish, newfangled stolen toasters. Lights go dim. He thumps the panel and they come up again. Marlow, ah, that's better. Just as he's taken the top of his egg, a cool light flashes. Marlow puts on his headset. Hermec, this is V41, V41 calling. Liz 79, Liz 79, can you hear me? Marlow, Liz 79, Liz 79, I can hear you. V41, go away. Hermec, what's, what? Now listen, this is General Neurally. Nikolai Hermek, Commander of the Space First Division. Give me your interdentony registration. Marlow, a general? A real general? Ah, oh, general, why don't you take yourself off? I'm trying to have my breakfast. V. Flight deck. Hermek, Liz 79. Give me your identity registration. That is an order. Marlow, oh, come on, general. I lost that thing about 30 years ago. Why don't you go about your business and leave me alone? Wayne gets the date up on the monitor, data up on the monitor. Wayne, that's Liz 79 registration, sir. She's a real old timer. She's been afloat for almost 40 years, Marlow. Mar, so Herm- Marlow Clancy? I must have, kn- I might have known. Wayne, you know him, sir? Hermit of him. Adam Regerina Magnum. When I did my first tour, he was something of a legend. Milo Clancy, I have your identity registration here. Milo, I'm very glad for you, General. That's great work. That's very good. Now, good day. Hermit, listen, Clancy. Where are you from? Or where are you bound? Liz 49. Milo, may I, might I ask, General, in what intonated business that might, that might be yours? Hermit, Clancy, I'm coming aside. Alongside with a boarding party, I warn you, don't, don't try and resist. Mother, I wouldn't, I won't tangle you, General. You come on in and join the party. Oh, mind, you don't scratch your nice shiny white paint. Beacon Alpha 4 compartment. A doctor wakes and shakes Jamie, Jamie, Dr. Jamie. Jamie, a doctor drags out a pair of gas cylinders over to Zoe and Jamie. V flight ship, ship, V ship flight deck. Wayne, I sent a guard on board, sir, to pick up Clancy. I didn't even, I don't think he'll give us much trouble. Hermac, yes. Well, we don't cooperate, he won't cooperate though. Ian, have you ever run across any of these old timers? Wayne, no, sir. Hermac, they think they're the law, they're a law unto themselves. They don't like the spice corpse either. Wayne, why? Hermac, well, these old mining prospectors like Clancy, the first men to go out in deep space. For a time, they had a place to themselves, roaming the spaceways, looking for planets, jumping each other's claims. They were wild, breedy, and, and they learned to live with the law. Ian, and when the space corps come along and started to false law and all the right, um, yes, much to their resentment, Clancy, but it must be the last of the type. Marlow enters. Marlow, my, 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 well, they certainly do your stickers proud, don't they? It's like a whole... F- Floating fun palace up here. Hermac. Clancy, I'm General Hermac. Marlow, howdy, my Hermac. And this is Major Wayne, my ADC. Marlow, Major, Hermac. What are you doing in this system? And why are you not on feedback to general flight information? Marlow, oh, I... Oh, am I not, General? Hermac, no, Mahalo. Oh, no, no, you're right. You're right. I remember now that old feedback of mine. It's just sort of fell up to bits about five years ago now. Hermac, five years? Well, it could be ten. Yes, yeah, certainly it could be ten. I've been always meaning to get that thing fixed, Wayne. No, it's an offence to operate without feedback to a CFI. I know an offence, Wayne, right. Marlow, I didn't realise that, Sonny. No. Oh dear, oh dear. There's so many clear offences these days. Marlow Clancy, what are you doing in this system? Marlow, well, I'm, I'm ahead of the Marlow Clancy Space Mining Company. Hermic, yes, we know all about that. We have your identity registration here. Marlow, oh, it must be great for you, General, to have all those facts at your fingertips like that. Herman. Hermic, get to the point, Clancy. Marlow, you sh- would know the point. You would know the point if you're reading my reports. I've been sending to you for the last two years. Wayne, what do you mean? 
Marlow, Antidote, Pirates. That's what he means, Sonny. Hermit, go on, Clancy. Marlow, over the two year, last two years, I've lost two five floaters carrying Alamac on the back of the, the home planet. I hijacked Colonel General, and they brought and they were brought into the system. Wayne, we reported this to you, say? Marlow, oh, well, I, I reported this, Sonny. About a dozen times I reported it, but it didn't do me any good, did it? So I said to myself, all right, all righty, I'll go, I must go so, do something about this myself. Hermac, how much agonite did you have on each floater? By the way, I had a full load, 50,000 tons of refined ore. Wayne, that makes, what makes you sure, so sure your floaters were brought into the system? By the way, time, sunny time. This system is the closest to where they left the spaceway. And the old floaters and got no propulsion units. They are manned. Don't have, they don't move very fast, Sonny. Wayne, I know that. Milo, oh, he's a good lad. He's bright, that lad. This boy of yours, good thinking. Is it all right if I blow my nose? Or is it another offence? My old nose, I can't get used to all your fancy air conditioning. Hermac, that's a pity, Clancy, but I'm afraid you have to put up with it a bit longer. Now, how long have you been in the area of the Beacon Alpha 4 Marlow, Bacon Alpha 4, Hermac, yes. Marlow, oh, have you a chart, General? Hermac, here. Marlow, ah, oh, that's where we are. Well, 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 you see, my charts don't pick up these new fangled bacons. I don't trust them. Wayne, just an astral pointer, a piece of string, huh? Marlow, that is right, Sonny. Hey, listen, I didn't see the Bacon Alpha 4 either. That's what I'm telling you. They're unreliable. They're a waste of public money. Hermac, and Beacon Alpha 4 is not registering because it's not there anymore. Wayne Eggertate Pirates blew it up three hours ago. Marlow? Oh, so they did. They'll be for salvage, I guess. Yeah, that would be it. Hermac, you don't seem very surprised, Clancy. Marlow? No, no, I'm not, Colonel General. This is clearing up but a whole heap of things in my head. I can lose... Lo- I- can lose every floater I've got. Your fancy spooks, Colts. Don't want to do a thing about it. But the government loses one government beacon. That's a man- different matter. Then you come running. That's what you're here f- for ne- now for. I'm like, well, if there's any truth in your story, Clancy, we'll go, we'll do, we'll do catch up with the pirates. We're entitled to put a claim of compensation. Well, if I waited for you to catch those critters, I'll catch my death of cold waiting forever. I just think this old crate of yours is about half as, as half the speed of a de- data bird dart, right? Well, you know, speed is classified information. Well, oh, it may be. Sonny, but this is for all the panda sharks. You know, they, you know, they, they're using data. Beta darts, one of the latest. You're on the wrong lead, boys. Why didn't you just go home where you came from, Wayne? Now, how could you know what ship they have? Marlow, because I crossed their thieving path a couple of times. If my old Liz had any speed about her, I'd have rammed them. Beacon Alpha 4 compartment. The doctor standing in a box, on a box looking through a porthole. In the ceiling, Wayne, can you see anything, Doctor? Toto, I'm coming down, look out. Jamie, well, what's on the other side? Can you see? Could you see, Doctor? Jamie, I'm afraid there's nothing on the other side. Space appears at this machine. We're on, has been blown into about seven, eight, eight different separate pieces. So are you sure? Doctor, well, of course I'm sure. Get out and look for yourself if you don't believe me, Zoe. It must have been, that must have been an explosion, Jamie. Doctor, does that mean the TARDIS is gone? Doctor, yes, Jamie. Jamie, that means that we'll never get back? Zoe, I don't understand. Why would anyone want to blow up a safe space machine? 
Dr. Savage asked, perhaps, though he, but what about those men they, that tried to kill us? Doctor, I think they, ha they were here to defend the machine. They would that would explain why they were so friendly towards us. Jamie, well, what you saying is that we've landed ourselves in the middle, so it's sort of warm in space. Zoe, we're, we're just floating aimlessly on a bit of debris, Doctor. No, Zoe, not aimlessly. It appeared to be rockets attached to each part of the machine. They're all moving along together, Jamie. Hi, Doctor. Well, you know, Jamie, there's some. When something explodes in the space, all the pieces separate and go and separate indefinitely. But this thing is separated just so far, perhaps a mile. And now, as I say, they're all moving together at the same speed, Zoe, because of the rockets. Oh, I see. So whatever broke up the machine is sending all the pieces to the same place. It's Doctor, it looks like it, Zoe. Jamie, ah, we can't get back to the TARDIS then. It's only a mile away, Doctor. A mile in space, Jamie, with no oxygen, means of propulsion. So it might as well be a thousand miles. <coughs> Jamie. Oh, that's just fine then. Zoe, have you got an have you an idea, Doctor? Doctor shh, just a minute. There's this buzzing sound. Doctor, now what on earth is that? Fee ship flight desk deck. Milo, oh, looky here, General. If you've finished with all your full questions, I've got work to do. I want to get back to my ship. Hermac, all right, Clancy. I'm sorry to have delayed you, detained you. Wayne, sir, Milo, what? What do you mean I can go? Hermac, of course. Milo, that's great. That's some, that's very kind of you. I'll just say goodbye then, General. Goodbye. I will leave an escort. Wayne and never caters. I was standing by for orders, sir. Hermack, obviously you think I've done the wrong thing. Wayne, not for me to say, General. Hermack, you think I let Clancy go too easily. Wayne, I would have put him through the wine probe, sir. Hermack, that did occur to me. He does seem to be mixed up with these uh, agamite firets. Wayne, too much. Hermack, do you think he's in league with them? Wayne, it's possible, sir. You said that he's not in respect of the law. That story about the floaters and pirates could have been a cover story. Hermack, I quite agree, Wayne. You agree, sir? Hermack, oh, yes, Ian. Not only do I think that Marlon Clancy is in league with the Agarite pirates, I think he's mastermind behind the whole opera organization. It's just precisely why I let him go. Beacon Alpha 4 compartment. The doctor prizes open equipment. Cover and frowns. Jamie, ah, oh, what's he doing now? Zoe, I've no idea. Ask him. Jamie, oh, what's the use? He keeps his mysterious face on. Zoe, well, I think he's just trying to keep up our hopes up. Jamie hopes. Joey, by by looking busy, there's nothing anyone can do. I say we've got a couple hours at, at the outside. Jamie, what do you mean by the few hours? Zoe, you well, you have you noticed, Jamie? Who knows how difficult it is to breathe properly now? V flight deck, Wayne, bridge to armory. This is Wayne, Major Wayne. I want the minnow ready to, for immediate launching. Fit contact herd warheads, the Martian missiles. A hatch opens in 41, painted on starboard wing. A little ship looks like a mosquito with a minnow, then a minnow comes out. M5 V2 launches. Hermac, navigation, navigated pen. Pen, sir. Hermac, keep contact with Major Wayne and minnow. Two reports. He's within visual range of Liz 79. Pen, very good, sir. Hermac, then V Master ZZ XX1. Come in, Ian. Minnow, Wayne. Okay, General, I'm following Clancy about his knowing. V ship flight deck, Hermack. Yes, but remember, no fall. His bet is being followed. You're in trouble. Meanwhile, I'm not going to land on Tara. Relay reports the nearest beacon. Out beacon Alpha 4 compartment. Zoe, oh, Doctor, can we have some more oxygen? Doctor, I'm afraid not, Zoe. We've got to conserve it. Jemmy, oh, what's the use? We'll never get out of this. Doctor, come here, both of you. Look, look at these. 
Jamie, what are they? Doctor, there's solar panel and magnets. It's a false field. Jamie, huh? Hey? Doctor, well, don't you see the explosive charges that blew this machine apart? Didn't damage its structure. It simply divided along the lines of its electromagnetic fields. So, well, how do you know? Doctor, because that, there was no damage to the structure. So you mean the machine was built in separate sections, assembled by, in space by magnetism, to magnetism? Doctor, yes, yes. Yes, you see, Jamie, opposite poles attract the same poles, rep- poles repel. Of Doctor, which demonstrates a pair of magnets on strings from his pocket. Doctor, you see? Try it there. So, ah, so the explosion was just strong enough to break the magnetic attraction between each section. So, yes. Jamie, but that doesn't do us any good, any good, does it? Doctor, doctor, but it might. Jamie, supposing I could step on the electronic, magnetic power enough to bridge the space between this section and the next. Sorry, you mean? Draw it up towards us? Doctor, yes. And then repeat the process of each section. So, and so on until we reach the TARDIS. Hey, Jamie, hey, well, what do you think? Well, do you think you can do it, Doctor? Well, I've got a screwdriver, Je- Jamie. Oh, Doctor, I've got a slight knowledge of electro electromagnetism. So, yes, there's just one thing, Doctor. Doctor, oh, Jamie, would you move this cylinder out of the way, Zoe? How do you know there's that set? That, how do you know the next section, this one, is the opposite pole, Doctor? Well, I don't, Zoe. Zoe, well, it's similar. It, it, it's, if it's similar, you're. Similar, your idea won't work, will it? We just, we just shoot off in the opposite direction, Doctor Zoe. Don't be such a pet as this. Being one of his ship heads towards a planet. Isari Mining Office, Wayne, on monitor. 1300XX1 to master. Have made visual contact with Liz 79. We're still orbiting the three-dimensional plane. Nothing further to report. Transition ends. Madeleine. It must be very uncomfortable after a few hours of one of those minnows, General. She uh, uh, tops up his glass hammock. It is, thank you. But after a week, you get quite used to it, Madeleine. I thought so. So this 79 is Milo Clancy's ship, Hermic. Your records are very comprehensive. Madeline, why is he being followed, Hermic? Well, I'll explain to you. Well, I'll explain to you the purpose of his mission, this mission. I believe that Clancy has connection with the Spagorite pilots. Madeline, that seems unlikely, Hermic. Well, why? Madeline, he's an Agonite, he's Agonite mines on the planet Lobos, Hermic. Which I heard are pretty well worked out. Madeline, they used to say this planet was worked out, but I brought in a new machine today. It's the most productive in the galaxy, Hermac. I must say I'm surprised to find you, you of all people defending Clancy. Madeline, why? Hermac, well, because of the rumours connecting him, the death of your father, Dom Elisigai. Madeline, well, Madeline, well, I tried to prove that at the time, but who knows what happened before them. So I now prefer to forget it. Hermac, but you took over the the, the agonite ag- agonite holdings from your father. A split away from Clancy, Bradley and yes, Hermac. And now you run the most successful agonite mining business in the galaxy. Well, oh, Clancy, because your competition competition must be pretty well nearly bankrupt. Madeline, is that why you think he's t- taken up with privacy? Piracy, Hermic. Well, the jealousy of your great success would be a pretty strong motive, unless, of course, you disagree. Madeline, oh, you might be right, but I still, I, but I haven't seen him since the day Parkership has dissolved. So, well, I don't know what he feels. Hermic, well, I can understand it. For a man like Clancy to be defeated by an attractive woman like you, his own game, it'll take any risk to get his revenge. Madeline, well, I wouldn't do like to take credit for that, for that. I wouldn't like to think that was true. Hermit, you certain you Hermit, you certain does does you you're concerned does you credit? 
I'm convinced I still have the proof I need. Within a few hours, Madeline, where do you, really, why, how? Hammock, Wayne is reported to Clancy, he's still in the same dimensional orbit as he was there, as he was there when we left him. Obviously, he's expecting revenues, Madeline. With a pirate ship? Hammock, I think so. Beacon Alpha 4 compartment. The doctor lets some gas out of a cylinder. Doctor, I think that's all we can spare. Jamie, how much longer? Doctor, I've nearly done it. I've nearly done it, Jamie. Just got one more connection to make. Jamie, I hope it works. Doctor, of course it'll work. The theory is perfectly sound. Jamie, I know, maybe. That wiring looks like a, a cat's cradle to me. Doctor, yes, yes, it's a little bit of a mess, Jamie. But I can assure you, it's thoroughly functional. Thoroughly functional. Here we are. Now you two have better hold on. Are you ready? So yes, ready, Doctor. Doctor, hold on. Hold tight. Here we go. The doctor pulls a lever. They all push back. Jay, what happened, Doctor? Sorry, old Doctor. You got it wrong. We go at speed. Doctor, I know, I know. I can't take it. Turn it off. Turn it off. So what? Doctor, oh no. I, Ah, oh, no, I'm stuck. The doctor's power's too great. Jamie, well, it isn't working. Sorry, oh, yes, it's working all right. What? But the wrong way of being stuck to further into space. And to prove it, we see one segment go hurling away from the other seven. Do Zoe, old oh, doctor, for, for goodness sake, do something. Doctor, I'm trying, Zoe. I'm trying to. Doctor manages to push, push the lever back up again. They all fall onto the floor, exhausted, Zoe. Oh, thank goodness, Jamie. Are we all right now? Do Zoe, Doctor? Zoe, no, Zoe. Doctor, no, Zoe. Afraid you're not, even if I could reverse a magnetic field. Afraid you're far too away from the, ne from the next section. Zoe, then we're worse off now. Just a floating helplessly in space. Doctor, oh, yes, oh dear. Well, it's silly Andy, I am. A sorry mining office. Madeline, well, naturally, General, I'm prepared to give you all the help I can. Way the monitor, 1310 XX1 to the E Master. Hermec, something just, something must be happening. He's not due to report Wayne on monitor. Liz, Liz79 is now on retro drive. She's linking up with a section of Alpha 4, with a section of Alpha 4. Stand by for your all, by your way for orders, Hermac. You see Clancy's in the collection area. He's waiting the beacon se segments. Merlin, it could be a coincidence. He's seen the drifting wreckage and he's curious. Hermac, madam, you need an ITM computer to work that out. But Hermac, you need it. You must have needed a G ITM computer to work that out. No, this is the proof I need. Merlin, what are you going to do? Arrest him? Hermit, could I use your auto board, audio board? Man, of course. Hermit, my ex master to XX1. Can you hear me, Ian? Minnow. Wayne, yes, sir. Zero, this seven, nine is now completing the link up. I'm standing by uh, for orders. And Simon Mining Office. Hermit, good. That means he can't make a sudden move. I want, I want you to go in and arrest him. Madeline, tell your men to be careful, General Clancy. He has a terrible temper. He likes to explode like cl glycerinite tetradrin. Hermit Ian, if he shows any signs of resistance, use your missiles. Otherwise, escort him back here. Wayne, on monitor. I understand, sir. Hermit, report back when the rest is made. Behind Hermit's, Hermit's back, Madeline looks pleased. Beacon Alpha 4 compartment. Everyone is lying down. The doctor opens the cylinder valve. Doctor, here you are. Jamie. The empty. Doctor, oh. Sorry, oh, doctor, what about you? Doctor, I don't need so much as you. There's noise outside. Jamie, what's that? Doctor, just a minute, Jamie, listen. Barks fall from the points of the wall. 
Sorry, they're cutting through the bolt the bolts in the hole. Jamie, we've been discovered, Doctor. Wait a minute, Jamie. A section of the wall is pushed in and Marlow enters, holding his cutter like a gun. Jamie, oh no you don't, Doctor. Jamie, no. Marlow shoots Jamie. Jamie, you're a murderer. The blast of the rifle swings round to cover her. Uh-huh.